Hello students, this is Dr. Amar Preet Kaur, a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department. In this lecture, I will discuss about the packaging of DNA in prokaryotes as well as eukaryotes. Dear students, as in my previous lecture, I have mentioned that DNA is a thread-like structure. It's true, but there are certain phases in cell cycle where DNA, it becomes highly condensed. For example, in metaphase, where chromosomes, they are very prominent, the DNA is coiled. Okay? For your understanding, I will give you a very common example. That is, preparation of cardigans in Kashmiri households. You all have been observed this that ladies during winter session specifically, they are making cardigans. Okay, what is the process in that? Simply, they are coiling thread to make a cardigan or a pullover. So, a cardigan that is the metaphase of DNA and the thread-like structure it is the DNA of interface of a cell. Clear? Now, let's discuss about the packaging of DNA in prokaryotes. It is not given in a vivid form and uh, I will also explain it briefly. Firstly, DNA, it is not scattered inside a prokaryotic cell. It has a specific position and that is inside a nucleoid okay remember it there are two types of proteins one is histone proteins and non-histone proteins which are associated with dna here in prokaryotes we have non-histone proteins they are positively charged okay and the negatively charged DNA, it gets wrapped around the positively charged non-histonic proteins. So, this is the packaging system in prokaryotes. Clear? Dear students, the organization or packaging of DNA in eukaryotes, it is very um, complex, unlike prokaryotes. Firstly, I will discuss about the histone proteins. They are made up of the basic amino acids, uh, lysine and arginine. In eukaryotes, there are five different types of histone proteins. They have the names, namely H1, H2A, H2B, H3 and H4. Out of five different proteins, the four proteins that is H2A, H2B, H3 and H4 occur in pairs and form an octamer. Always remember that the histone proteins, they are positively charged. And around this octamer, there is negatively charged DNA wrapped. This kind of structure that contains an octamer having DNA wrapped around plus it is having H1 protein. This structure is known as nucleosome. For more clarity, you can refer to your book that is of biology by NCRT of class 12th. Here you can see the structure. It is uh, in figure 6.4a and it is labeled as nucleosomes. But students always remember here is one circular structure. Uh, it can be misleading because most of the students, they think like uh, nucleosome, it is uh, a circular structure. No doubt, it is form is circular. But uh, unlike in this picture, which shows that it is a single structure, 
it is actually octamer it is having four uh, uh, four different proteins which occur in pairs and uh, form an octamer so uh, imagine that the in this picture there are eight proteins okay four in one tire and four in another tire and around this there is wrapped dna plus h1 protein h1 protein it acts as a linker between two nucleosome models clear this nucleosome it is a repeating unit inside the nucleus and it forms a structure that is known as chromatin why chromatin c the word chroma it is derived from a greek word that means the object or a material that can get colored okay during the staining process inside your laboratory which will you perform in your practicals you will see that when you stain a cell only the chromosomes they will get stained but which will in metaphase clear that is why uh, they are known as chromosomes this chromatin it gives the appearance of a thread or uh, like beads which are present on a thread or a string uh, for more clarity you can take the example of a necklace uh, which uh, which is having beads and uh, usually the girls are wearing inside in their necks so it is present in a similar form clear this nucleosome it coils further and it forms a structure which is known as solenoid and chromatin fiber dear students this is important thing that you have to remember that diameter of a nucleosome it is 10 mm uh, nanometer and of a solenoid it is 30 nanometer clear and two nucleosomes they are attached with each other with the help of a linker protein linker protein is basically a histone protein and it is named as h1 okay dear students this chromatin it is differentiated into two region on the basis of staining one is heterochromatin and other is u chromatin u means true chromatin okay firstly heterochromatin it is darkly stained while as u chromatin it is lightly stained in heterochromatin it is the chromatin is highly densely packaged while in u chromatin they are loosely packaged heterochromatin you can say that it is remaining in in active phase while as u chromatin it remains in a active form with this student i have completed the packaging in eukaryotes and prokaryotes thank you for listening and if you have any question or query you can visit my website and that is www.amarpreetkaur.com okay